Welcome back to the physics lab. Here for a little STEM club demonstration, a quick little uh, science snack for you. Let me show you what we've got going on. All right, I have made here a little stand using a very large embroidery hoop. This is a quilting hoop, it's about a two foot diameter. And this is not just a regular cloth. This is a nice and stretchy piece of spandex. And what I'm going to do, you've probably seen this at uh, museums, is I'm going to take a very large ball. This is a uh, steel ball bearing, about an uh, inch and a half diameter. Put that in the middle, and you can see it makes it sink down in. Now, to simulate the orbits of a planet, or something that is attracted with a central force that's increasing. So that's what's interesting about this, and what's interesting about the museum displays is the way the stretches isn't uniform. This isn't a straight line down. Let me see, uh, grab a ruler, I'll show you what a straight line looks like. So here is my model straight line. It's approximately straight and we can see that if we look uh, right down the edge of it. If I hold it right up against the edge here, the slope of this keeps going down and down. And if I'm just touching the edge down there, it gets a little steeper. That is what we get with a gravitational force. The force increases as the radius decreases. In fact, the force is proportional to the square of the radius, or one over the square of the radius. All right, this is a little marble representing a planet. And watch what happens when I just let that go. It heads straight for the planet. However, uh, or straight for the sun, I guess this is our model, that's the sun. This is the planet. This model works if this is the Earth, and this is the Moon, or if this is the Earth, and this is just a satellite moving around in space. If we're moving at the right velocity around to the side, let me uh, see if I can get straight up and down on this. Now, because unlike space, this is going to drag it in, and we're losing energy as the marble goes around because it's flexing this material and uh, doing things. All right, one more, this time with a whole pile of marbles. I'm going to turn these loose together. Now imagine that this pile of marbles is an asteroid, but it's not a solid asteroid like, like a single model. It's actually an asteroid that's made up of dust and rocks and a bunch of smaller pieces. As it goes around together, it'll stay together, but once it comes into contact with this force, because that angle is different, some of those on the inside are going to get a different acceleration and this asteroid is going to be ripped apart by the gravitational field. And if you remember a few years ago there was an asteroid that hit uh, Jupiter and it actually hit in a bunch of pieces. And the reason for that is that in Jupiter's gravitational field those got strung out. So let's see what happens if we can get a good one here. All together getting strung out, and then they all impact at different times. You can see the different marbles actually all deform the space next to them, so they have some of their own gravity. So if this was really heavy, that would be attractive to our ball. But just a little bit, it actually causes the ball to move. So let's try the asteroid again. Eventually, they all get strung out like that. All right, that's just your uh, quick science snack for today. Don't try this at home, or do try this at home, or come over to my house, and we'll try it some more. Thanks.